Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, as you all know, and as I've stated uh, several times before, this is not the best time of year for a lot of people. A lot of people really have hard times during the holiday, during the um, uh you know, longness of the dark periods, like me. I, I know I couldn't have lived in Alaska. Uh, even though I've said it before, there's no way in heck I could live there because I have a hard time with the shortness of the days. And I really don't like it at all. I don't, you know, so, and it does something to me. So I would consider myself having what you call wintertime blues and um, you know I'm not I'm not too fond of this uh, period of short lightness okay so there's a lot of people that's going through their own set of um, eh, blah feelings or depression for any and every kind of reason right so somebody sent me a uh, a letter from Tina, I guess. I don't know what uh, this form came from, but she sent this and she says, uh, uh, you can't be depressed because depression is that white people shit. Um, and some people really feel that way. And I feel like that is really, really a travesty because when we don't, when we have an aversion, towards talking about our mental health as black people, it really puts us at a, at a disadvantage because obviously we got a pain body. Nobody else been through what we've been through. So why is it so hard for us to figure out that we can't be all uh, normal and all that stuff has happened to us on a cellular level? So we carry a lot of pain, we carry a lot of violence, a lot of hatred, a lot of depression, a lot of sadness, a lot of trauma in our DNA. And so for people to get angry and, you know, just miss the point, I think it's really a travesty because, you know, it just lets you know that it's a long time before you there be any healing. Anyway, she says, uh, can't talk to parents or else they will accuse you of being ungrateful and dramatic. Can't talk to family because they will never understand or spew religious bullshit about praying it away or being riddled with demons. Can't reveal you go to therapy or else everyone in your community will think you're the problem whenever something goes wrong. Not allowed to have a bad day at work or school, especially if you're one of the hard workers because everyone wants you to be an energizer buddy, bunny at 24-7. Can't have a quiet day either because that means you're being unfriendly and stuck up. Can't ask for medication at a hospital or else they will accuse you of being on drugs and force you to be evaluated for eight hours. This is truly truly exhausting, you know, and, um, I haven't addressed it yet, and, but I'm going to, uh, address it, but I also liked one of, um, our fellow subscribers that came at her, like, I completely understand how you feel. There was a time where I was very, very depressed and having suicidal I, I, uh, ideas. I felt uncomfortable expressing feeling that way. and I thought I was supposed to be strong and that being seen as a depressed black girl would make me appear as I was weak. So I suppressed those thoughts and feelings for as long as I could out of fear of being judged or just seen as crazy. Then one day I had a breakdown in front of my classmates. Someone said something to me and I just broke down crying. As embarrassing as it was, I have never felt more relieved to let all of my internal pain and all that suffering out. After that, I finally received the help I desperately needed. People in general, 
Expect black women to be strong 24-7 like we're the ethereal super beings who don't have any feelings. That's why I don't like it when people say that we're goddesses or we're super women or we're strong and powerful. No, we're human. We feel like everyone else. Black women don't have to be strong. We, if we don't want to be, that's fine. And being frustration and frustrated doesn't make you angry or bitter. It's just part of being a human being and part of having emotions. It's okay for you and for black women as a whole to be vulnerable. It's okay to be depressed, sad, to want a shoulder to cry on, to want to be alone. I want to express how you feel without your family or friends telling you to suck it up or pray to God in hopes that he'll somehow magically cure your depression. I wish more black families would encourage black girls and black women to go to therapy and seek help when we need it and not to hold our sadness inside. Or... Um, just do what we need to do for ourselves. It does you more harm than good to keep trauma repressed. Because sooner than, rather than later, that trauma that you've been carrying around will insulate itself into your interpersonal relationships. And you will not be the beautiful and deserving partner that you should be. I sincerely hope that you get the help that you want and deserve. Good luck. Because as black women, we do need help. And we watch a lot of trauma and we keep a lot of trauma suppressed. So black women's mental health does matter. It matters it matters. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to everybody that is not feeling their best. Let you know I love you. Let you know that I care for you. Everybody that's behind the eight ball and really trying to see your way through the fall, the fear, the obligation and guilt. I want to send a shout out to you as well. Don't let nobody knock you off your square. Give yourself the love that you need. Accept things that happen to you, whether you like them or not. Move on forward with your life. And learn how to ask for help. See you in the next video.